And uh, thank you, Latoya. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, perfect timing. Give me your thoughts on tonight. I am so blessed to even have this opportunity. This is my first feature film. I had such an amazing director and cast and producer, and I'm just happy that they took a chance on me. I'm so happy that they did. So I'm blessed. I hope everybody enjoys the movie, and uh, go see it. Amen. Well, you did a great job. What do you hope people take from a film like this? You know what? It's a lot of lessons learned in this movie. Um, there's so many things that Angie has learned, uh, her father. Um, there's so many different things that you can learn from each character in this movie, the decisions that they make and the outcome of everything they've done. So um, pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. It's just such, it's a family film. I think everybody can walk away with something from this movie. Amen. So. Well, and just to follow up, Stan, you were actually the director, writer. Did you do catering and everything too? <laughs> You know, it, uh, well, the, the one thing I learned most in this process, this is my first time directing, is that it is such a collaborative effort. And there's so many pieces that have to fit right. And you get the right people involved, and it just works out. And we need to tank. Can, can, we, get, can we get Tank over here? Come on, come on, come on. We're right, we're right here. Latoya was saying everybody learns a lesson. What's his lesson that he learns? Keep your hands off people. Right, that's right. He learns he needs to be a nice man. Um, I am definitely the devil's advocate in this movie, um, and it's a stretch for me because I've been God's child since I was born. Um, but I mean, this movie definitely takes you on a roller coaster. You know what I mean? And but it takes you back to the reason. And I have—I can only speak from where I'm from. And that's being a Christian and being a saved man. Is that the reason that Jesus came was to prepare that place for us and get us back to the place where we'd, we'd have a home to get back to. So no matter how far you go off from God, He's always right beside you, and you can always get back. Latoya Luckett, Latoya, your thoughts on tonight? You know what? I can't believe I'm standing here right now. This is such a blessing and an honor to be surrounded by such a beautiful cast. Everyone on that set made this possible. Everybody worked so hard and gelled so well, to get well together. And you could just feel God's presence. Come on, now. Every time we walked on that set, he was there, he was <laughs> there, he was there. And he's still around us. And I'm just so thankful and grateful. And just after watching it, it's like crazy because you see yourself on the screen. You're like, is that what my face looks like? Is that what, is that what we're doing? Um, but you know what? I, it's just, it's an honor and a blessing. And I hope that this movie touches so many different people and so many different lives and um helps with their decision making yeah. i hope they will learn from angie's mistakes yeah. um so i like i said again thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for your love latoya how did that happen what when did you hear and what was that all about you you literally jumped up a few a few spots i did i was originally uh casted as the role of Des desiree and um i was excited i mean when i tell you for weeks, I was preparing. I talked to Stan. We had gone over the character and all these different things, the breakdown. And four days before shoot date, he called me, and I was alone at that time. I was alone at that time. For some reason, family was away, friends were away. I was just spending time with God, honestly. And he called me and said, would you mind going out for the role of Angie? And I said, huh? I thought that, that was already casted. That's done. It's no way possible. He said, would you mind? do you want to do this? And I said, absolutely. What do I have to do? He said, get on a plane tomorrow. And I was like, okay, I've never done a feature film before. Don't have much experience in acting, but I'm going. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going to call my mama and I'm going. And, and once I got there, I was terrified. I was absolutely terrified, especially at the table read. I'd never done a table read before. And I was sitting there nervous. The director is right there. And I'm like, I don't know what to do with this. And I just went with it. And, and he was so patient with me. The whole cast was so patient with me. The, the, the acting coach was so patient with me. And I got it. I fought for it. I worked every single day, no breaks, until I got it. And I'm so thankful for that. I'm so thankful. I never saw that coming. And to be honest, I had um, my mentor. I had gone up uh, in prayer time at, at, at Sedona. And at that time, I was casted for Desiree. And she said, I want you to know before you get out of this car, you're rolling. That movie's going to change. And I said, out. all my life, <laughs> all my life. And I said, I don't, I said, no, this, what are you talking about? I, I'm glad with the part I have. And, you know, and she said that your role is going to change. So prepare yourself. And when I got that call. You know, what's interesting when, when we were casting, I remember her, I don't know what I said, but you started crying. And I went back in the waiting room, and we were going over the sides together. And she, she said, you know, the reason I'm crying is I'm more like Angie than Desiree. Wow. 
you know, the way I grew up, I grew up in the church and I'm really more like Angie than Desiree. And that thing, that one thing that you said made the difference because when the other girl dropped out at the last minute and they wanted to recast it and they talked about sending the script out to all these other named singers and actors and I said, no, I think I got the girl. <laughs> I think I got the girl, and I just remember what you've done. I wanted her confidence. I wanted Desiree's confidence so bad. Regardless of what people thought about her, we didn't know her backstory. You know, we just saw her as this confident person that got her way, and I wanted that so bad. And that's when he came out, and, and I was a little emotional because I was like, this is what I want. This is what I want so bad. How do I get here? How do I deliver this character? Um, and, and what it's gonna take. And when he helped me through that, that's when I, that's when I knew. I was like, okay, all right. Tonight is an amazing celebration. That lends the question though, if you were more like Angie, are you back now? I mean, if you were once lost, are you back now? I don't think I ever really left. Oh, no. No, I, I'm definitely back. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. I mean, yeah. Um, okay, good, that's what I'm. <laughs> Yeah, is your, no, you, you, she's a good girl. She's a good girl. We had a blast great. on the set together, and you know, she she was she was nervous. She was Terrible. in the beginning. She was. She came to me a few times in the makeup trailer and asked me some questions and things. Mm -hmm. But I told her what confidence, confidence, and, confidence, confidence, and what else? She, Stay in the moment. Right? That's exactly and what she, she did. Because I my, I was I was trying to figure out. Because I always wondered as a kid, how do these people cry on the spot? I would try it in the backseat of my mom's car. It never worked. <laughs> And so I was talking to her, and she said, you have to stay in the character. If you're really so into this character, mm -hmm. then you'll understand why she's crying. And as a matter of fact, you put me up to it. The second <laughs> shot of the day on my first day of shooting was the scene where I had to get emotional with my father. And if she wasn't right, it was just in that moment, and I, I just felt those words and what she was going through and her fight to get out and just want to experience her own life. She's phenomenal. And um, I, it brought me to tears. You know, um, I uh, I just want to say uh, that, you know, just watching the people watch this movie, there's something going on with this one. It's a very special piece. Now, I've shown this movie. You guys, I traveled this film to 21 cities, Lori and I did. And uh, we've shown this movie now to 3,000 people. And I've watched audiences watch this movie all over the country. And they are the tears, laughter, yelling at the screen. They hate your guts, okay? I mean, it's just, they hate you, okay? And uh, the nicest guy in the world. I mean, you, you play the Jesus I Got Saved card in this movie, you know, trying to get the girl back. It is awful. And uh, <laughs> it's awful. Tell me what's going through your heart tonight. It's a very special night for you and the rest of the amazing cast. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, even going back to how we all got our roles, you know, you understand that when God has something that he wants to say, it's going to get said and he's going to put the pieces in place. So I'm thankful um, that I was one of the pieces he chose. You know what I mean? Although my vehicle is is a very bad vehicle. Um, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm glad for that role because I, I, I want people to see that and see it real and see what not to be. You know what I mean? And I'm glad that I could pull that off because it's really not me. You it's know. not, I promise. Oh, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Tell me, um, for someone that maybe hasn't read the story of the prodigal son, they don't know that this is really scripture come to life. Jesus told a story trying to really communicate God's love for man unconditionally. What 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 is this movie uh, to you? What is this audience going to get out of what they see when it opens Friday night? Tomorrow night, Friday night. Well, I mean, it's a lesson. It's a lesson in life and that we all have to sometimes experience things for ourselves. And, and that's okay because, you know, God wants us to see things and see the light of what's going on around us. But it also lets us know that no matter what we encounter, no matter what hardships we encounter once we get out there, that there's still a place that we can call home. There's still a place where we can go back and get refreshed and get prayer and, and get the things needed to, to fight in this world. You understand? We, we fight against the principalities and the evil that's going on out here. And you need a house, I'll say a home church or somewhere where you can go, where you can get refueled and charged up to continue to fight this race. So I pray that everyone that sees this film gets recharged and gets re-energized and uh, get ready for the fight. Preach this kid. We, we pressing on.